Did you know that the Confederate Army was really fighting a multi-front war, not only against the Union, but against the indigenous Apache people of Arizona? Well, there's a reason for that, and we're here today at the Dragoon Springs Stage, stage Stoke Ruins because a battle with the Confederates and the Apaches happened right here in 1862. Uh, this site was built in 1858 as part of the Overland Stage Stop, stage stop route. There's multiples of these going across the uh, Southwest to transport goods, services, mail, and people across this part of the country. In 1861, this was already abandoned. It um, was no longer competitive with the Pony Express, which could move things faster, and was still occasionally used for rest stop and for people to take a break. Well, at this point, the Confederacy was blockaded by the Union. They could not bring goods and services in through what would be their normal naval routes. And there were still a lot of countries that wanted to trade with the Confederates, France being a very good example. France was actually teeter-tottering on the edge of coming in on the Confederate cause. So the Confederacy tried to open a trade route through the West. This was an early attempt. This was still the frontier. Still was the frontier for a long time. And so if you can imagine, this is a weird war because there's people out here, there's Union, out here, there's Confederate out here. The Arizona Territory went Confederate sympathist. The Californians went Union sympathist. So in 1861, the Union's out here milling about, looking for trouble, trying to make sure the Confederates aren't doing what they think they are. And they get into an altercation with, the, with Cochise and the Apache tribe over near what is now um, Fort Bowie, called the Bascom Affair. They, are, they, they accuse the Apaches of stealing a kid, uh, kidnapping a child, who turns out to be a very interesting historical figure named Felix Ward. Um, another topic we need to talk about on another day, a fascinating guy. And he was not actually kidnapped by Co Cochise and his tribe, but the whites wouldn't accept that. They captured some of the Apache tribes, they tried to negotiate, uh, it turned into a firefight, and started the Apache Wars that went on for 30 years or more. So shortly after that, not even a year later, the Confederates are out here, a contingent out of Tucson, trying to forage, trying to open that trade route and keep something open here for the Confederacy. And they're here at the ruins of this stage stop, looking for some cattle that's been abandoned because the cattle, these places were self-sufficient. When these stagecoach stops were running originally, there was cattle, a water supply a mile away, which is still here. And the guys that ran these pretty much fended for themselves against not only the potentially uh, unpleasant locals, but also for water, food, supplies, etc. So the stagecoach would come in, they'd water the horses, rest the men, put them on new horses and take them west. So this cattle was wandering about and these Confederate foragers, uh, three of them along with their guide Ricardo, a Mexican guide, were, were doing that very thing and beset upon by Cochise and his raiding party. They, at that point, didn't matter if it was a gray uniform, a blue uniform, all of these people were not an appropriate thing to be in this area. So Cochise descended upon them and a desperate firefight happened right here at this stagecoach stop with weapons of this type. Um, clearly the Confederates and the Mexican guide died and failed at their defense attempt. Their graves are right over there, and we're gonna look at them in a moment. But just to think about the notion of this, in 1862, way out here in what is nothing more than a territory, you have Union and Confederate moving about, occasionally even clashing in, in their own skirmishes. But not just that, they're fighting the local Apache. This is one of those forgotten pieces, or somewhat forgotten pieces of the Civil War that shouldn't be, it's part of our history. This right here is a memoir to that reality, and we're bringing that you, to you today for that reason. One of the things I'd like to bring to the center of this video is, is the sense of isolation that's here even today. Uh, you know, we're talking 1862. The, the sense of isolation then would have been beyond extreme. This is beyond remote. This is, the, this is a territory. This isn't even a state. All you have out here is wind, silence, rustling trees, grass, some animals wandering about, and then suddenly you're beset upon by an Apache raiding party with their whoops and noises. and chaos and gunfire for that short duration of what's left of your life.
All right, we're out here at the four graves uh, of the uh, defeated at this battle. And uh, we have first and the fourth grave have no marker. The second and the third one, this one here is Sergeant Samuel Ford. And next to him is their Mexican cow guide, Ricardo. We don't know why those two are marked specifically. Uh, history's lost that to uh, forever. We'll have to just wonder. But they were important enough to specifically mark. So, but rea in reality, all of them are important enough to remember. And whether you're, you believe in the Confederate cause, or you believed in the Union cause, or you believed in the Apache cause, because there were three sides to that coin, definitely on this day and out here in this territory, um, the, uh, the being out here today and firing these replica guns and having a sense of the, the, the nature and the solitude and the quiet of what is here and the reality of what happened really not that long ago, it really hits you when you're firing these and you hear that gunfire. I don't know how else to describe it except that you get a sense of the history that you wouldn't get otherwise. And I hope you pulled that out of this video and you got a little taste of that because I feel truly honored to have that opportunity to be out here doing this today. I never thought I'd be shooting a 61 musket at a Confederate Apache battle site, but I did. And uh, it's, uh, it's an amazing experience and I hope you pull that from the video and use this and other videos we do in the future to remember our history because it deserves to be remembered and needs to be.